happened in spring 2020 was something remarkable. Schools around the world closed within a matter of weeks. In our paper, we looked at student progress during the first school closures at the onset of the pandemic. We were looking at how students were performing before the lockdown and after the lockdown. The main reason that we studied the Netherlands was that we could. Very few places, if any, have the kind of data that was needed to assess this situation as it unfolded in real time, but the Netherlands did. It's one of the countries in the world, or the country in the world, with the highest broadband connectivity. For a country with such a well-developed infrastructure, you would also think that they would be unusually well prepared to deal with remote learning. When we spoke to people on the ground, we learned that that had actually not been the case. This is you know, perhaps not surprising as there was so little preparation. So often uh, parents had to pick up instructional packets from the school in physical form and bring them home uh, to the children who would then you know, do the homework. So if there's something we're learning from that is that having the technology is not enough, but we also need to give teachers the tools to use that technology effectively. Despite enormous efforts by teachers, uh, by parents, students had learned very little. Not only that, but students who came from uh, less well-educated homes, they had suffered the largest setbacks. Three percentile point drop in student progress means that if you take someone who would be scoring better than 50% of all students in the previous year, in 2020, they were scoring better than uh, only 47% um, of students in previous years. And that doesn't sound like a whole lot, but once we factor in the length of the school closures that we were studying in this case, the conclusion is that students learned very little um, during these eight weeks. That led us to think, well, if this is happening in the Netherlands, uh, where conditions are good, imagine what is happening in countries with um, considerably less resources. Our work highlights that so many things that we take for granted in the day-to-day -day functioning of our societies uh, are actually really fragile and dependent on the continuous uh, dedication and effort and goodwill of everyone involved.